I'm going to show you how to create Vexel art portraits from regular photos. The term, Vexel is a combination of the words, vector, and pixel. There are many derivations of Vexel art, however, they all have one thing in common, they're entirely pixel-based, raster art that imitates many of the characteristics of vector-based graphics. Open a clear, focused, high-resolution photo of a face. The first step is to check its resolution. Press Alt plus Ctrl plus I on Windows. You could also go to image and image size. The width and height can be pretty much any amount, but make sure its resolution is 300 pixels per inch to ensure that the filter settings will have similar results as mine. Next, we'll separate the subject from its background by making a selection around the subject. There are many ways to do this, however, for this example, let's use the quick selection tool. If you're using version CC 2021 or later, click the select subject button, which automatically makes a selection around the subject. We'll make a new layer. The new layer icon. We'll fill the empty layer with any color. Press Alt or Option plus Delete to fill the empty layer with that color. Next, we'll convert our visible image into a smart object, so we can modify it non-destructively. It'll also allow us to replace our subject with another without having to redo the effects. To do this, make the top layer active and shift click the bottom layer to make all of the layers active. Click the icon at the upper, right and click convert to smart object. We're going to apply a lot of filters, but each filter and the order in which we place them is important to achieve the final result. Go to image, adjustments and shadows slash highlights. Check show more options to open the highlights and adjustments. The shadows amount is 50%, the tone is 50% and the radius is 30 pixels. The highlights amount is 20%, the tone is 50% and the radius is 30 pixels. The adjustments color is minus 100 and the midtone is plus 100. The black and white clips are 0.01% each. Go back to Filter, Sharpen, and Unsharp Mask. The amount is 500%, the radius is 5 pixels and the threshold is 0 levels. Go back to Filter, Stylize, and Diffuse. Tick Anisotropic and click OK or press Enter or Return. We'll repeat this filter twice by pressing Alt plus Ctrl plus F on Windows or Option plus CMD plus F on a Mac. Press Enter or Return and press the same hotkeys once more. Press D on your keyboard to make your foreground and background colors black and white, respectively. Go to Filter, Stylize, and Oil Paint. The stylization and cleanliness are both 10, the scale is 0.8 and the bristle detail is 10. The lighting is undicked. Go to Filter, Blur, and Surface Blur. Basically, Surface Blur blurs an image while preserving its edges. It reduces noise and grain. The radius specifies the size of the area sampled for the blur, while Threshold controls. The tonal values that get blurred. For this image, make the radius, 20 pixels and the threshold 20 levels. Go to Filter and Filter Gallery. Open the artistic folder and click cutout. The number of levels is 8, the edge simplicity is 5 and the edge fidelity is 3. Go to image, adjustments and brightness and contrast. Keep the brightness at 0 and make the contrast, 100. Go to filter, sharpen, and unsharp mask once more.
The amount is 100%, the radius is 5 pixels and the threshold is 0 levels. Click the adjustment layer icon and click gradient map. Change its blend mode to color. Click the gradient bar to open the gradient editor. Have fun clicking your preset gradients to see how they affect your portrait or you can. Customize the colors by changing the colors in the gradient bar. For example, click the lower, left stop, the color box and find a color you like. Since I already know the color. Click the lower, right stop, the color box and pick another color. 